Alrighty, hey there guys and gals. It's time to take a look at a new game I've been playing a little bit called Life is Feudal. Uh, it just came out yesterday on Friday the 19th uh, on Early Access on Steam, and I've only been playing it for a little bit, but uh, there's been plenty of people running into, not problems, but just like questions in regards to crafting. Uh, this is a, a medieval MMO sandbox, and uh, so far, <clears throat> pretty impressive. The craft crafting system is, is actually enjoyable. I don't generally like crafting for hours, but uh, enough of that. I wanted to show you guys how to tunnel and build a mine, because there was a lot of um, brouhaha uh, in the global chat forum, or the global chat, um, just about, and on the forums, about how to do it, since it doesn't seem to work all the time. Um, and I don't know if that's the case, I think it just takes a lot longer than uh, one would ever expect, uh, because they want it to be difficult to do. So, uh, first things to go over before you even really consider creating a tunnel. Um, it requires quite a devotion of skills. So in the beginning, when you create a character, you know you have these basic skills here, where you can kind of move the sliders under the crafting, crafting, crafting skills option. Back that up. Uh, so you can move the sliders around. You'll want to have terraforming uh, level 60 or as close to it as you as you can. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, for each level, you get to uh, see what they unlock. You know, raise a flattened ground. Um, you can flatten more ground, and then uh, you can dig tunnels. So at level 60 is when you can start digging into a hillside. Um, you also want to have high prospecting, so you can start to mine for you know iron and, and such. All right, so now that you know you need to have high terraforming skills, which takes a while to level up on its own if you don't create, like bump it on character creation, so I would highly recommend that. The next thing you need to do is make the proper tools. So the only equipment you really need for terraforming and, and mining and digging is the the pickaxe and the the primitive shovel. Um, so in order to make those, just walk up to a tree and break off branches in this menu here. God, I thought I had a branch. But when you get a little baby branch, there'll be a little icon. Just right click the branch, and hit create primitive tool, and we'll bring up another window here with a drop down list of all the primitive tools you can make out of branches. So you'll want to select pickaxe and shovel. I think shovel requires like just some branches, maybe bark, and pickaxe requires some flint and bark. Um, and these are things you can just get from looking at the ground. Like you can stand on top of ground, do prospecting, search for a useful flint stone. You go through your motions, and sometimes you get flint, sometimes you find nothing. And then the same thing on a tree. You just right click the tree, hit forestry or whatever. Maybe it's logging. See the logging forestry? Yep, failed to find anything. And then just, uh, you know, break off a branch, and then you're on your way to making stuff. All right. So, digging a tunnel, uh, extremely time consuming. Uh, I almost gave up a couple of times, and what it is, is you want to find a, I've seen most people dig them in hillsides, but uh, let me start somewhere new, because it's can't see with beans in there. Oh good, I thought I crashed for a second, it's not great. Um, so. You want to get the hillside, you'll do terraforming, and dig a tunnel. Digging a tunnel is the best one to start with. Um, starting with digging a tunnel down, I've done this for about a, an hour with no success, but then I did a, a dig a tunnel, and that was the one you saw to the left over there. So just start with dig a tunnel, and then once you get inside, you can start digging downward or digging upward. But first, tunnel. So, <clears throat> let's do that. Uh, what did I just miss? There we go. Dig a tunnel. Does his little thing. If I look at my inventory right now, I don't have any rocks or dirt. This should pick up rocks and dirt for me. Yep, 40 dirt. Okay, no rocks this time. But that's also how you get rocks to build gear. And then you can just run out, run over here and dump off your rocks in your in your dirt. As you can see, I've been doing that to level off this ground so I can build a furnace, etc., etc. But with your tunnels, just keep swinging away. It's going to take a long, long time to break through that first one. Um, it takes probably six to eight hundred stone that I've moved before I opened up the ground. So keep in mind, as you get overburdened and have to dump stone out, you can kind of mentally keep track of the numbers, but it takes a whole lot. Um, it's not meant to be easy. It's meant to be very time-consuming. And... It sh they got it right. It sure as hell is time consuming. Um, probing. A couple things to think about before you start digging a tunnel is are there any valuable resources nearby? 
Um, if there aren't, maybe you don't want to spend time digging. I kind of wish I had thought about that before I, I did that. So what I just did was I did probing. And as you can see in the bottom right in my global bar here, or actually this is the system chat. So after the probe, um, it says the total amount of materials left in that block is 96%. So that means I have a whole lot of material to move before that block becomes tunnel, right? I've got 96% of that material left to move. So that's an important thing to, to, to note if you want to try and like mentally gauge how close you are and you're getting sick of it. Um, the important thing about prospecting in relation to tunneling is that if we take this little node here, I don't know why I'm prospecting for silver, that seems really difficult, but so we have prospecting, right? Prospecting for iron, copper, or silver. So what it is, you prospect for copper and it gives you a radius, which are the squares on the ground. So if we back up and go to observe, here's a little grid of the squares. So you know my mine's right in here, I'm standing outside my mine, I've stood inside my mine and there was nothing in there so I'm going to have to remake it or tunnel farther. But if you stand here, these are the squares. So if you're looking for um, you know, copper within two, it's either going to be one, two, within two squares, right? So it's going to be like in the almost immediate vicinity. You can back that up and make it a whole lot uh, wider range. You can take all the way like 50 something, I think, or 60 something, but that's, uh, that's a little far. So let's give this a test shot and see if I find anything within 14 nodes. Uh, but ideally you want to find the ore and then dig to the ore. And I didn't realize that before I started digging, I just wanted to apparently dig a goddamn hole. Uh, which, success, I got the hole part down. Um, but it's, it's, it means it's going to be even more difficult to really to make your mining happen. It's going to take even more time. If you're standing up on top of the hill and you see something within 10 nodes, you're going to have to pick a spot, move around, and, and try and pick the best spot and you know do more prospecting within 5 nodes to try and pinpoint where the ore location is and, uh, and then start mining. So it's going to be a really big process, but I assure you, when all of you that are getting discouraged trying to dig and start a tunnel, it does work. It just takes a phenomenal amount of time, and you have to move a phenomenal amount of earth. So get that pickaxe, keep swinging at that fucking ground, and uh, eventually you'll break through. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, this helped you, please like or subscribe. Also, stay tuned for more crafting videos as I run into other areas where I get lost and have to find material and resources on how to do it. Thanks. See you next time.